Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to simulate a 2D bubble uh, flow, a two-phase plug flow, uh, it is also called Taylor flow in a micro channel and I'm going to show, it, show you a trick to reduce the thickness of the interface and make a very thin interface between bubble and water so first I've designed the geometry you'll see the geometry I open a mesh excuse me in this geometry you will see a 2d channel with a domain it is called bubble escape bubble domain for the bubble and a domain for the water so here the width of the channel is 600 micrometer and the width of the bubble domain is 517 so i'm going to show you a trick to well, catch a very thin interface In ANSYS meshing, I've designed the mesh. Uh, I generated the mesh. It's better. I generated the mesh with these qualities. As you can see, I'm not going to see the quality yet. I I generated the mesh. With five layer of insulation near the walls and also uh, near the bubble region. Five layer of mesh with one micrometer width. So the boundary conditions is as this. Here is a wall. Then we will have an inlet with the constant velocity of 1 mm per second and a pressure outlet to interfaces. We we'll go now for uh, simulating the problem in fluent. Most of the time, the VOF method needs a double precision accuracy in uh, ca calculations, so I consider that. And solve the processor, I use six processes, uh, depend on your CPU. It's not an important problem, important thing. But if you want to really have a very good simulation, you have to use a supercomputer because most of the time volume of fluid needs a, a fine grid to be studied. So first of all I check the mesh, display mesh. Here I want to see the walls. I can see the walls are considered as interfaces, right? So I have to change it. I go to mesh, mesh interfaces, I delete this interface which is defined, I don't want it now, I go to boundary conditions, interfaces, and I change the type of this boundary condition to a wall. Apply. Now, if I see the mesh here, Walls are correct, outlet is correct, interior domain is correct, interior bubble, bubble is correct, interfaces and inlet too. So it seems that mesh is correct for the simulation. Volume of fluid flow or, uh, or plug flow in microchannels is 
a transient and time dependent study so I go to the model I'm going to activate multi-phase so I need two phase first is air I'm going to look and I'm going to water liquid copy gen uh, generate created so we uh, density and viscosity as it is so we go to multi-phase volume of fluid implicit body force I'm not going to activate a level set and interfacial anti diffusion you can activate you also see you on the higher accuracy and etc I click the apply apply phases uh, primary fair should be water secondary phase should be air phase interactions I'm going to consider a constant surface tension coefficient 0.072 newton per meter for water and a surface tension force modeling a continuous surface force with wall adhesion viscous is laminar we do not have a turbulent regime uh, in this problem uh, Reynolds is about 20 30 so it's not too much to have a turbulent regime in the solution condition is mixture it's good inlet I'm going to define uh, Constant velocity of 0 0.001, it means 1 mm per second. Interfaces is uh, interface, does not need any change. Internal to outlet is pressure outlet with gauge pressure as default and uh, reference pressure and temperature we we'll leave it as it is so in the contact angle we know that contact angle between water and air is about 16 or 65 but I am going to consider zero because this will uh, our simulation with this situation will be much more closer to the reality which we will be will seem much much more better in comparison with reality okay I apply this mesh interfaces I have interfaces to define uh, interface domain with bubble and interface bubble with domain default name I created name is created uh, interface so no dynamic mesh, no reference values as it is. I uh, leave the default values in the method. I'm going to consider piezo and the default last square cell base for the gradient a spatial discretization, and I'll leave all of them as the default. So in the uh, monitors, residuals. I'm going to define 1 e minus 7, 10 power 2 minus 7. Mm, for initialization, I have to uh, define a new region for bubble. So I go to refine Cawson, adapt cell registers new region so in this region i'm going to name it bubble minimum 
x is 4,998 e minus 6 maximum x is 840 no no 8, 850 8, 8,502 e minus 6 y mean is 37 no 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 27 e minus 6 and y max is 572 e minus 6 so right click on say display our region will be like this you can see some of those inflations are considered as the region so I click on OK I'll go for file uh, initialization In initialization I click on hybrid initialization I And click on patch I want to define the initialized bubble one volume fraction and in the bubble region I patch a new contour I'm going to show you the it's the bubble here bubble is defined here we will see every thin interface even at the initialization so it's the trick exact uh, basically the thin inflation layer so i'm going to define animation for it every tree i'm just going to show you how it works Initialization is good um, and I'm going to consider adaptive meshing. So I go to adaption controls, pre predefined criteria, multi phase, volume of play. And you have a 2D geometry. It says that the defined adaption criteria requires you to define the minimum cell length, a scale L for refinement. By default, L is set to the minimum cell length in the initial mesh. The minimum cell volume will then be set to L power to 3. It is recommended that you review the setting after running a few times, as time steps and observing the adaption mesh. I say OK, no problem. Minimum cell length scale as it is, but uh, I click on OK. Info the hanging node adaption method will not be available for 2D cases in a future release of Fluent. The Puma 2.5D adaption method can be used instead. To use Puma or PUMA 2.5D convert to 2D mesh to a, the Puma, the, to use Puma 2.5D convert the 2D mesh to a 3D mesh with a thickness of one cell layer and enter the following text command mesh adaption things like this it's for the future really uh, it's not important yet I would say ok no problem minimum cell volume is this and maximum refinement is 6 I'm going to say 4 it's just a tutorial uh, excuse me, I have to change it for every time step redesign the mesh. Okay. For calculations, I'm going to consider adaptive total time of uh, 0.1 uh, hundred milliseconds global 
for a number 0.25 i do not want to see large differences between physical dts so i can see that 300 for this maximum iteration per time, per time step 11 initial time step is 1 e minus a so everything is okay now we want to go and see how it works Continuity and momentum equations are getting solved simultaneously. We can see the residuals in every iteration. If I zoom here, now we can see the mesh got adapted and got refined where there are interface, interfaces. So with this method, you can uh, consider a very thin uh, area for interface and then you will not have a very thick layer of green color because of the interface so here you can see again mesh got adapted and uh, so on problem is getting con converged you just have to get it time uh, basically size of this problem VOF simulation need a very fine mesh, especially near the walls, and need a, a powerful system with more than I don't know, with with more than 50 gigahertz of computational power. So uh, you should consider all of these. Have a good day.